Hey guys, uh, just on the road again. It's Victoria's unofficial long weekend, the Melbourne Cup weekend. Uh, I'm just taking off, heading towards Orbos, and then I'll go north from there. Uh, looking at doing the Kilts Bridge, maybe the Erin Under Plateau. A couple of things I've seen on some maps I wouldn't mind trying to find. And then working your way back across to Nunnyong, Native Dog Camp, and that sort of stuff, and then back to sort of NSA, so Miss Creek. Got a couple of days up my sleeve. Just uh, doing a little bit of exploring. Okay, so I'm just taking a quick detour. Uh, I'm heading into Raymond Creek Falls. Uh, I'm hoping with all the rain we've had you know, the last month or so, there's a bit of water flowing over it. So a little bit of a detour, but you know, it's only early. And the good thing about being in Victoria, I suppose, that as a, compared to Queensland, we've got daylight savings. So you've got a little bit more time to set up camp at night, which is good. So, all right, hopefully next time we'll all be looking at Raymond Creek Falls. Cheers. Okay, so I'm on the walk down to Raymond Creek Falls. It's um, a little bit further than what I was expecting. It's about a 2k walk in. Anyway, things you gotta do, eh? Oh, I don't know if anyone else is like me, but when you go to like sort of semi-remote spots and you gotta park your vehicle up and walk a couple of k's, which means a couple of hours, and your vehicle's left up there unattended. Norm has got everything in there, like your drones, your laptops and that sort of stuff when you're traveling. So who else gets paranoid? Um, and leave a comment below what you do to protect your vehicle when you leave it there, or if you do anything at all, like I don't. But anyway, leave a comment, I'd like to know. Cheers. Tell you what, I won't be walking to the Snow River, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, I'm up the top of um, Raymond Creek Falls. How beautiful is this place? I reckon it's even better down the bottom. I'll head there shortly, but I'll show you this here. This is amazing.
I'll tell you what, if this is any indication of what down below is like at Raymond Creek Falls, it's going to be pretty amazing. But, uh, walking this last little section, and, uh, checking it out from down below the waterfalls. So, all right. Well, apparently there's a couple of hundred steps to get down here. That must be the start of them. All right, here we are. Raymond Creek Falls. I won't lie to you. This is very similar to like Lynchfield National Park in the NT. It's got that same sort of feel and vibe about it. Obviously the water's not as clear and wouldn't be as inviting either on a nice summer day who knows well i hope you enjoyed that uh, now it's time to tackle these steps and get back up to the troopy Okay, just pulled up for a bit of bike. Got a couple of pies in the um, travel buddy there. And I'm at this place, it's called, uh, I think it's Yomi Creek. Beautiful spot. Just off the road. Perfect. Thursday just gone. Oh, time to turn around. Okay, I've just uh, taken a little detour about 1k off the main drag. It's called to a place called the uh, A Big Tree, it's called. And it is a pretty big tree. Definitely makes the troopy look pretty small.
so just caught into the Ambine suspension bridge and um, had a look at that there and there was a um, nice family camping up there and just asked them some advice about where they've been and it was busy up here at McKillop's Bridge and that and the old man, the dad there said, oh, when you uploaded your last YouTube video, I was your first viewer. Thanks mate, you're a champion. It was good talking to you. Hope you enjoy the long weekend and um, hopefully you get to see this one as well. All right, I'm about uh, 20Ks from McKillop's Bridge, so yeah, looking forward to getting there and seeing that. Okay, so we're at camp um, at the McKillop's, McKillop's Bridge uh, National Park campsite here. So I'm all set up, which is a bit of a different setup for me because normally I'm um, in the back of the troopy. So I'm running the swag today. So this is camp. For the fire. Twenty-three zero. The Bandit. Eleven hundred. Over here we got the, the kitchen set up. So yeah, we'll see how we go in the swag tonight. Something different, but the whole plan is to um, free myself up for when I go out in the desert with my uncle and that, so I don't have to, I can pack more stuff in the back and make it a little bit more easy to travel in rather than having the bed in the back, so. 